Hi everybody, this is the Math 31 Applications Review. This is question 11. It says a rectangular swimming pool with a horizontal bottom. Okay, okay, let's just draw that out here then. Okay, here's our pool with a horizontal bottom. Basically what we're being told here by that statement that's a horizontal bottom is that this is going to be a rectangular prism. Okay. If it's be oh, sorry, it's being drained. If its length and width are 25 meters and 20 meters respectively. Okay, so the length is to be 25 meters, the width is 20 meters, okay? And the water level is falling at a rate of 0.5 meters per minute. So here's, here's the water in here, okay? And so the height here of the water is changing, is falling at a rate of 0.5 meters per minute. So dH by dt, oops, sorry, can't see that is going to be negative 0.5 meters per minute. How fast is the water draining out of the pool? Now what that's asking for is dv by dt. How fast is the water leaving? Okay. So what I got to do is I got to come up with a, a, a relationship between volume and height. Now volume of the water in there is going to be length width height. Uh, but one of, the, one of the hardest things about related rates problems is is knowing when to substitute in a value and when to leave it here. Now, in most cases, you do not substitute in a value until after the derivative. However, in this particular case, it's important to note that when the when the water's in the in the pool here, okay, the width, sorry, the width and the length of the volume of water will always be the same. These are constants, okay? Whereas the height is the variable. If there are values that are constant in an expression, you do want to plug those in. So volume is going to be length, okay, times width, and h is the variable here. So now that's going to simplify down into 500 h. Now I've got a, a function, or sorry, a, a variable that is changing in time with respect, uh, in terms of a variable that is changing in time. So I'm going to take the derivative, I'm going to take it implicitly because time is not mentioned here, okay, although uh, volume and height are both implicit functions of time. So the derivative of v will be 1 dv by dt. The derivative of h will be 1 times dh by dt. And I know that dh by dt is negative 0 0.5 uh, meters per minute. Okay. Now remember, this this 500 represents tw uh, 500 meters squared. That's that's an area calculation there, and so this is going to be meters per minute. So now this is going to end up being negative 250 meters cubed per minute, which makes total sense. That is a volume uh, with uh, sorry volume per unit time. That's the rate at which it's draining out of the pool.